I'm going to show you how we can actually improve the way you think when you look at diagrams. And you will understand that by the time I finish discussing this question. So let me give you the question. Take a square with side 16. Now put the maximum circle inside. And inside that circle, put the maximum square. Now in this diagram, two regions are shaded. Let me number it as 1 and 2. You have to find region 1 plus region 2. I'll also give you answer options, which are 16, 32, 48, 64. And if I give you time, I'm, I'm very sure, given time, all of you will solve this question. And there is a very good chance that 99% of you are solving it this way. And how will you solve? Region 1. How will you find region 1? Region 1 is area of, area of the square minus area of the circle. And you'll divide it by 4. Now, why are you dividing by 4? As you can see, there are four equal regions. Same way, how will you find region 2? Region 2 is area of the circle minus area of the inner square. And there again, you will divide by 4 because as you can see, there are four regions like 2. Now, when you are doing this, pi is involved in calculation because circle is involved. Options are without pi. That's why you will end up taking 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, 3 minutes depending on your calculation speed, whether you are fast, super fast, average, that will decide how much time you will take to convert this into the answer options. So, I'm sure you'll get the answer. This is the original question. Now, if I ask you a question back, take a circle, whether I take a square like this, or whether I take a square like this, can I take any square? Can I take any square here? Because I'm just changing the orientation. I'm simply rotating the first one square to get the second one. Now, if I use the same logic or same common sense to solve this question, what we'll get is, so let's look at the original diagram. This is the diagram. The regions are shaded 1 and 2. Now, the inner square, if I just rotate like this, what is happening? You get region 1 here. You get region 2 here. Now, they are together. So, now it's an advantage because circle is out. So, pi is out of calculation. Now it's not a question. It's, it's, it will become well below our level. At its lowest level, if you want to solve, how you are supposed to solve? I'll write in two words, cut the diagram and count the answer. Cut the diagram like this and count the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Out of which only one shade, one region is shaded. So, answer is 1 by 8 of the outer area anyway is 16 square. So, 1 by 8 of 256, you will get the answer as 32. So this is exactly what I meant by that even though all of us are capable of doing this, since most of us are tuned not to think, most of us would have solved it using the first method, which would have taken much more time. This is much better and faster. And this is, this is how you are supposed to solve questions, especially when it comes to competitive exams where time is going to play a crucial role in deciding your rank and percentiles. And I'm very sure that now all of you are thinking why I didn't do it this way before. Because it's, it's, it's that easy. And this is just an example where of how by thinking better, how we can actually simplify whether it's questions or concepts.